Solana is still 40% below its previous high of $259. What do you think will happen? Will Solana keep outperforming? Will it beat out Ethereum and become the value layer of the internet? Or will its higher centralization and instability limit its growth? Matcha Dex Aggregator finds you the best prices in DeFi. More on them later in the show. Okay, welcome to Crypto with Cami. This episode is a bit different as I'm recording just my hot take and not the summary of the week because I'm traveling. I'll be in Austin for South by Southwest. And by the way, I posted the panels that I'm moderating on my Twitter. So hope to see you around if you're going. Okay. Uh, now back to Crypto with Cami. Today I'm diving into Solana. Um, my take is that for the first time ever, Bitcoin and Ethereum have a credible contender in terms of gaining enough network effects to become the main hub of on-chain activity. Solana has in just one year consolidated itself as the largest layer one ecosystem after Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, this is taking a few metrics into account, which I'll go into. But first, I just want to highlight how remarkable this is. Uh, Solana is such an interesting comeback story. Everyone had left Solana basically for dead at the end of 2022 after FTX imploded. Remember that Sam Bagman fried the founder of FTX, was a big backer of the Solana ecosystem. He was investing heavily in Sol and in projects built on Solana. SBF was so closely tied to Solana that the token and tokens issued on Solana were known as SAM coins. So naturally, when FTX crashed in November 2022, Sol plunged by over 70% from around 36 at that time to below $10. Sol then recovered and climbed back to 20 in 2023 and hovered at or around that level through most of the year. And then in October, it really started to pick up. It started climbing, increasing its price by more than 5x to over $100 where it is today. It's uh, outpaced most large, you know, layer one tokens in the past uh, six months. It's actually beaten, beaten out all of the top uh, 10 layer one tokens by market cap in the past six months. So it's up more than 500 uh, uh, percent. After that comes near, then um, Avalanche, then Polkadot, then ETH, then Bitcoin, Matic, BNB, and uh, Tron. So it's just had a remarkable, you know, crazy, crazy rally in the past six months after, like I said, you know, most people didn't really know whether Solana would survive the collapse of FTX. And what's more interesting is it's not just price. If you look at most other relevant metrics, to measure a base layer health, you can see Solana constantly coming out in the top three to five uh, chains. So um, I made these charts using this uh, Artemis, Artemis uh, data site, um, which I've, I've been really liking, uh, using the top nine layer one tokens by market cap. So according to that data, Solana comes in fifth in terms of daily active users. So the first four are Tron, BNB, Near, Polygon, and uh, and that's it <laughs> in that order. So um, in terms of daily active users, Solana is fifth. You know, kind of at at the uh, mid of the pack. But next is daily transactions, and Solana blows every other chain out of the park. It has uh, twenty million. Uh, daily transactions, and that compares with Near and Tron, which come next with less than half of that at, at around uh, 6 million. Make your trades go further with Matcha, the DEX aggregator from Zero X. Get the best prices on swaps with smart order routing and over 5 million tokens at your fingertips. Tap into more than 120 DEXs at once for the best value in DeFi and trade cross-chain for free across seven networks. 
And with Matcha Auto, MEV protection will save you money as your trades settle quicker through private market makers. Trade on Matcha today. Okay, so it's worth noting that daily active users and uh, transactions are definitely valuable, but they're among the most gameable metrics as active users are usually measured in wallets, which can be bots, and transactions can be just transfers of little value, also gamed by bots. Okay, now daily volume is harder to game. And there Solana comes in third after Bitcoin and Ethereum. So we we see that Solana here has um, around uh, 4 billion in daily volume compared with 74 billion for Bitcoin, 30 billion for Ethereum. Similarly with Dex trading volume, Solana comes in second after Ethereum um, and yeah, it, it's even briefly surpassed Ethereum uh, on some days, but now Ethereum really shot up. Uh, so we're seeing Solana have about 2 billion in DEX trading volume versus Ethereum's 4 billion um, recently. Uh, also worth noting how DEX trading volume is picking up uh, right now in the bull market. Um, okay, now moving on to the next metric. Solana is fourth in terms of stablecoin market cap and it's also fourth in terms of TVL after Ethereum, Tron, BNB chain, exactly the same for both um, stablecoin market cap and TVL. Uh, so Solana usually comes in among the top chains together with Ethereum, Bitcoin, then Tron and then BNB are also up there. Uh, Solana comes at the bottom of one chart, but it's a good thing as it has the uh, cheapest average transaction fees after Polygon and Near. So here we go. Um, Ethereum and Bitcoin are the most expensive chains in the top nine uh, chains by market cap. But even at the cheapest transaction fees, it's bringing in the third most amount of revenue after Ethereum and Tron. So let's go to the revenue chart. Um, so here we see Ethereum kind of, you know, blowing everyone out of the park with the revenue it brings in, by far bringing in the most revenue um, at 31 million uh, daily, uh, then Tron at 2 million, and then Solana at around 400K. Um, so that revenue comes from some of the data we've seen before, from the volume of trading that Solana is seeing right now. And getting more into the specific of what's underneath, underneath this aggregated data, if you go to what actually is being traded here in a index screener, most of the top traded tokens by volume are on Solana. Here you see the Solana logo just like all over the screen. Uh, where I've ranked this, uh, these, you know, uh, most kind of trending to uh, tokens by volume. Um, but, you know, looking even closer at these tokens, these are mostly meme coins. You have Jupe from the Jupiter uh, Dex aggregator on Solana. But other than that, it's dog with hat, a baby dog with hat, um, Miss Bell Joe Biden. In case you've missed this trend, uh, me uh, meme coins of misspelled versions of celebrities are trending right now. It's, it's um, hilarious. There's this uh, really funny um, coin telegraph story. Uh, so yeah, so you know, DeFi summer was all about food coins, dog coins at their moment, and now it's misspelled uh, celebrities. So you know, this is the kind of stuff um, that's being traded and you know driving volume on Solana and we've talked about all the glowing metrics uh, Solana is showing but the low fees the ability to have this transaction volume comes with the trade-off that it's not very easy um, to run a Solana node I mean the the way that they have structured and, and the architecture behind this uh, this network is you know they um they optimize for very 
powerful uh, validators in order to process a high volume of transactions. But that means that the hardware requirements for running a validator are very high. Um, and so it, it, the barriers of entry to becoming a node validator are higher than in other networks like, like Ethereum, for example. So that lowers the number of participants of, of, on the network, those who can contribute to uh, the network security. So that, you know, can lead to a more centralized network structure. Um, and then, you know, another big criticism of Solana is that it's infamous for being played with downtime. It had uh, more than five hours of downtime just last month. And that was its 11th instance of degraded performance in the past two years. So not ideal, you know, if you want a secure value layer for the internet, you need it to be up all the time, like a hundred percent of the time. Um, still the market has decided that it doesn't care that much. Uh, Solana's sole to token, briefly fell after this network outage, but has continued to rally. So that's probably because traders using Solana don't require 100% uptime or maximal decentralization. They are like, as we saw, they're trading meme coins. They're playing games. Uh, Ethereum right now has the highest stablecoin market cap and TVL as it's positioned itself as the chain for higher value financial transactions. It's used by traders who do require a higher degree of stability and security. And that makes sense. We're seeing a proliferation of layer one chains. Each chain will probably serve a specific use case. But it's worth noting that uh, Solana founder Anatoly Yakovenko, um, and here I have our podcast, our most recent podcast with him up because we've had him a few times on our channel. Uh, and he said his thesis is for a monolithic blockchain, a single blockchain that's powerful enough to scale on its own without the need of layer twos. And they have the ambition for Solana to be the main hub where most economic activity happens. Um, so, so, you know, it's TBD whether they can achieve that without a track record of 100% uptime. You know, if, if you want to be the main hub of financial activity, you'll have to be able to process trillions of dollars uh, per, per second or, you know, at least, at least per day as, as today's financial system transacts. Uh, You'll have, you know, just like global commerce happening on your platform. You're, you'll have high value transactions, big financial institutions, depending on your performance. You can't afford to have a, as much downtime or degraded performance as uh, Solana has. Uh, and, you know, there might be some concerns about the degree of decentralization it has as well. But, you know, for now, Solana is definitely finding product market fit as the bull market gains steam and traders are looking, you know, to simply ape into meme coins and farm airdrops. For now, Solana is definitely uh, a great chain uh, for those use cases because it's it's a lot cheaper. Uh, it's uh, it processes all these transactions per second. It has gained enough kind of network effect there's there's enough liquidity there's enough volume for trading it has good infrastructure uh with different dexes and dex aggregators uh, so there's enough there for traders to degen and make money and have fun which is what the bull market is all about so yeah i think it's really interesting uh to go over this this comeback story uh for solana it, it went from almost dead to really, you know, credibly challenging Ethereum and Bitcoin. Uh, so uh, also worth noting that even after this massive rally, while Bitcoin already touched its previous high and Ethereum is 20% away, Solana is still 40% below its previous high of $259. So what do you think um what do you think will happen? Will Solana keep outperforming? Will it beat out Ethereum and become the la the value layer of the internet? 
Or will its higher centralization and instability limit its growth? Let me know what you think in the comments and see you next week. Thank you.